The Plateau State Peace Building Agency is sensitizing journalists and civil society organizations on the federal government's National Livestock Transformation Plan. Now, this is aimed at curtailing negative narratives on the implementation of the project. In TVC News, Phnom Joshua reports. Journalists, civil society activists and the representatives of the state government gather at this event. They are here on invitation of the Plateau State Peace Building Agency to deliberate on the proposed National Livestock Transformation Plan of the federal government. Presently, any plan that involves settling hazards on land provided by the states is treated with suspicion and the federal government is determined not to fall into the same situation that arose when the Ruga Settlement Program was unceremoniously adopted. The Nigerian government recently decided to stick with the National Livestock Transformation Plan after President Mohamed Buhari suspended the Ruga Settlement Program. Plateau State has had its own fair share of the conflict between farmers and herders, leading to the loss of lives and property. It is why the Plateau Peace Building Agency takes pains to clarify the stand of Plateau government on the National Livestock Transformation Plan. The number of casualties really that we've recorded as a result of the farmer harder clash, attack, or whatever you want to call it. But as civil society, as the media, as whoever who is interested in peace building, we have a responsibility to join hands in finding a lasting solution to this problem. Participants grudgingly accept the plan but suggest that for the proposed plan to succeed, there is the need for government to adopt sustainable strategies. TVC News chatted with some of the participants shortly after the event. I think what uh, has been done today is an eye-opener. For me as a journalist, I think um, it has opened my mind, it has opened, you know, it has improved my understanding about what the policy is all about. Part of the discussion, the government will come out today saying uh, it is implementing RUGA from the national level, some would say it's ranching. So today it was very, very clear to where Plateau State Government stands. And where it stands so far is that it is possibly starting a pilot and it's adopting, possibly adopting the ranching. The, the ranching program, yes, that is the position of Plateau State because that is the way to go. It is the best thing that you, if you look at it, because you can't be talking about grazing uh, roots now for some obvious reasons you can't be talking about creating grazing reserves although you could have reserves that have been gazetted at the end of this discussion the plateau state government through its representative and the director general of plateau state peace building agency made it clear that the state government only adopt the ranching policy and not drugar policy with wasi and kanam local government to be the first pilot scheme for nom joshua tvc news joss